and this is my collaboration with the Beauty Insiders. This is my really cute red lipped golden look for Valentine's Day. If you want to see how I got it then stay tuned and if you want to see more videos from me the link will be in the description. For this look I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics bronze palette, it looks like this and I'm going in with this colour for the base on my eyelids. I'm going in with another brush and I'm going into this colour which is a more darker, deeper, warm colour, uh, warm brown colour sorry, um, lightly go into my crease. This is going to be a kind of brown look um, but I want to build it up steady rather than going straight in with that dark colour as I find that that is kind of the key to blending and building up especially with dark tones and black. It's like a warm um, brown but it's almost got like a hint of orange in it so I really like this for a transition colour. I tap off the excess and I'm going back in with that transition again just to deepen it but without being too dark I'm just kind of warming the transition tone and you kind of just keep going until you feel like you've got the colour and the amount blended that you want. Going really gently into this brown, so it's a very dark brown but I'm using very little of it um, and I'm going to go into the outer crease colour. So I'm really going in gently, as you, can, you saw from the palette it's a very dark brown but you want to kind of gradually build it up, you don't want to do anything too heavy. I'm then going to go in and touch the black, literally I'm just going to touch it um, I'm not really using much because black is a very dark pigment um, and it can make things go a bit messy and it's quite hard to blend out. So I'm just literally smudging that along here and then slightly up along the crease. I'm shimmery brown, I'm using this colour from this palette again um, and I'm just going to use my finger. So I'm going in with this colour, just swiping my finger on it and obviously you can see it comes up straight away. Um, I find that these palettes are very very good but they're quite hard to pick up the pigment sometimes on brushes so I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm going to dab it along this eyelid. And then for the under eye, um, I'm kind of leave that what, um, but for the under eye I'm going in with a, a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with that dark brown to the outer corner of my eye the lighter one and do in here first but just to brighten up this I will use highlighter in the inner corner but I just wanted to use this pigment as well and then I'm going to go back in with that shade which I used on the lid um, and I'm going to do under here and blend it a little bit more in sort of blend it so it swoops almost right up from here right up I'm then going to dab a tiny little bit of that black to go into the outer corner so I've now just done the other eye and I'm going in with these lashes, these are 3D, um, they say mink but I think they're fake mink um, because they're £2 from eBay, they're a really really good price. So now I've applied the lashes I'm just going to go in with this which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm just going to kind of fill in the little gaps um, and I just think it makes it look a lot more natural and um, neater. So I'm going to go in here and fill in this lash line. Uh, I'm not actually going to do a wing for this look because I kind of wanted it to be circular. Um, but I am going to go along the top of the lashes and make sure that there is a full line and no kind of gaps. Okay, so now I've applied the mascara, I feel like the bottom lashes are actually dark enough. Um, but I'm just going to go in and just define this outer crease slightly, not too much, I don't want it to be too deep. Um, so yeah, this is the finished eye look. We're now going to move on to highlight and then we can do the lip. So this is the Anastasia Highlight Glow Kit, this is called That Glow, it's got these colours in it. Um, this is my go-to colour, I think it's such a beautiful colour um, and that's obviously a high range um, option. This is a low range option um, and it, but it's so good, I think it's like £3. So it looks like this and you get two creams and two powders and this is what it looks like and that's my go-to colour. As this look is kind of 
um, more goldy. I'm going to be going for this colours, these colours today, um, because it's more, as you can see, goldy colour. It's kind of like my highlight brush. Um, it's kind of like a flat little, um, I think it's a concealer brush. So I'm going to begin with this colour here, which is called Bubbly, and then I will top it up with this colour, which is called Sunburst. So I'm going to go in with this colour called Bubbly. I'm just tapping the brush um, and highlighting the inner corner. Not too much, um, but just adding a little bit of light and I'm doing then I'm adding that sunburst colour as it's a lot lighter. Going in with this colour called sunburst. I use this on my cheekbones as I find it's more kind of effective. Um, and I'm going in with a fan brush. I'm just going to rub the fan brush on the edge of the colour and then rub it on my cheekbone. I'm then going to go flat with this brush and go over the cupid bow. With highlight you kind of are using areas that you want to bring forward. So you want to bring your cheekbones forward, you want to bring your cupid's bow forward and the tip of your nose forward. It's kind of just to create that illusion of a more structured face. Um, so you, especially with the cheekbones, it just really pop, brings them out and makes your hot contour look even deeper. So I'm just going to intensify that highlight by using this little brush again and just dabbing it on um, in the areas that you want here. I'm going to go on to lips and we're going to use a really bright red. So once I've done that I'm going in with this colour which is called Smashing to finish off the look. to finish off this look I'm going in with some bronzer and maybe a hint of blush and this is the finished look so if you like this look please like and subscribe comment if you've got any suggestions or want me to do anything next you there will be a link for my channel in the description and yeah if you want anything go and check out my channel I do videos every single week and this is my Valentine's look so I hope you liked it and I'll see you again soon